Hi, I'm uh, Jerry Aarons, a regular delegate, Local 95, Region 4, under Regional Director Dennis Williams. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do uh, is thank you, President Gallifinger. Many, many times I've uh, written you letters, and you never fail to respond, you never fail to make us feel better. I'm really not here to hurt anybody here, but I want you to know how our members feel, at least the ones that vote for me and bring me up here to this microphone to tell you, so you keep in mind when you're bargaining. That two-tier wage system, they hate it. They believed over the years, all this time, that we should stand and fight this management, and they want me to deliver that message to you, and I will. And I want you to know that. They're always behind you in a fight. Doesn't make them bad union people, makes them good union people. They really like you people up there, and they'll stand behind you. I know they will, but they sure hate that two-tier wage system, and they're looking for a way for you guys to figure out a way to get out from under it somehow, either right away or down the road somehow. So if you can do that for us under that two-tier two wage system, we'd sure appreciate it. Okay? Thank you. Thank you, brother. Yes, my name is Mills Chapman, president of UAW Local 5287 in High Point, North Carolina. Also a member of Region 8, with the great director Gary Steele and the assistant director Donna Bellis. I want to speak in favor of this resolution. Thomasville Bus in High Point, North Carolina is a, is a, is a direct recipient of organizing efforts. We want to make sure that we continue of those organizing efforts. We are constantly in a state of organizing each and every day. One of the things that I've learned from watching National Geographic is, is that if you look at even the very same animals, that they understand that there is strength in numbers, and that the enemy can only pick you off when you decide to choose your own path, but that we must stick together as a path. A. Philip Randolph also said that at the banquet table of life, you can only get what you can take. You only can keep what you can hold. You can't get nothing if you can't take anything. You won't hold anything if you can't keep. And you cannot do this without organizing. So we must understand that we must continually be in a, in a state of organizing. And not only that, but to educate those that we organize and make a commitment to do so. So I stand in faith. Of this resolution. Thank you very much, Gary Wachowicz, uh, Dearborn Truck Plant, Local 600. I speak in opposition to this resolution because it does not say clearly what needs to be said. It does not say clearly what our membership wants to be said, which is no more concessions. I came to this convention, sent by the membership who elected me, to deliver that message. In the Dearborn Truck Plan, we have a letter addressed to the Bargain Convention delegates that says no more concessions. It was signed by over 1,000 members in that plan. We received a copy of that letter this morning. The same letter was also signed by more than 1,000 people in other locals from some of the plans that delegates are here today. This is the message that I'm hearing from the membership, and I believe many delegates out there are hearing the same message from their memberships, no more concessions. What has been said since God is? We gave up concessions on retiring health care and wages, and the corporations turned right around and demanded local concessions and COAs. They pitted plan against plan, local against local, ripsawing us, and I know the pressure that puts on the local leaderships. I understand that. That's where concessions have got us. And now, and now, after COA, the companies are demanding more concessions in this next contract. I believe it should be the business of this convention to take a clear stand against concessions. I think that's what our members want to hear from us. I think every person, delegate from this plant is hearing separate things in their plan. If we want to come to this convention to represent our membership and say what they want said, we have to come out of this convention very clearly as a union 
and say no more concessions. It is time to stop concessions. I would like to mention that we have a set of keys and it's got a VCAP Region 1 uh, Joe Peters uh, director on it. So if anyone lost their keys, uh, we'll have them here on the stage, Region 1. Additionally, if someone lost their cell phone, it's at registration. So if you've misplaced that, you can go to registration and pick it up. When the companies fail to isolate us from the communities, they try to smash us by the use of injunctions. Injunctions is the most reactionary weapon used by employers to break a strike. They have been repudiated by the American people and by Congress through the Norris LaGuardia Act. But employers use the injunctions to mobilize the police power of the state to undermine and break a strike. Even the Army and the Navy has been used for the purpose of breaking strike. An injunction is an illegitimate offspring of an undemocratic government and a reactionary employer in the name of law and order. It leads to violence, as in the case of Philadelphia. In Philadelphia, on March 1st, an ominous concentration of police shattered the peaceful picketing and parading of UE members. An injunction had been granted against picketing. The company thought it had won a major step towards breaking the strike. UE locals in Philadelphia and Camden organized a protest parade, an orderly parade headed by their country's flag in the hands of a veteran of the German campaign. To the tune of the Star Spangled Banner while everyone stood at attention. But when the parade started, trouble began. was torn from the hands of the veteran. The veteran was beaten. It was said later, in excuse, that the police lost their heads. They certainly lost them in an organized manner. This is the result of having irresponsible officials in the city halls the state capitol, and in Washington. When violence failed, the companies gave in. Big business was stopped.